Nice, Cindy Otter here with my RC Endeavors. How are you doing? I'm doing pretty well. We have today, look at my hands are so dirty. Um, I've been packing all morning. I need to sit down. So today we're going to play with our pick 10. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This month is going to be a little bit different though because what happened is last month when I did a pick 10, which um, you guys will see in a moment, I did this pick 10 here, right? And my, as you guys remember, my girlfriend Carla was here and I asked her, I said, would you like to do a pick 10? She's like, sure. So what I had her do is I had her pick 10 prompts the same way we normally do out of my sticks. And this is a page that she did using those prompts. Okay. Now when she picked them, I wrote them down. So guess what? I'm going to do the same exact prompts that she did only on my own page. Doesn't that sound like fun? So yeah, it, it's kind of like, yeah, I know what they are, but still I'm just gonna go like I was just flipping them over the first one is to use red so let's see what can we do um, I got some junk here on my desk here's red Christmas red oh I'm not in the mood for Christmas <laughs> I can't help it sometimes things like that just ugh, drive me crazy um use red Got my neo colors here. That's scarlet. Let's use that. I don't know to use Christmas red. Uh, we've got scarlet. Um, I don't think I have any other reds in here, do I? What's this one? Uh, I can't see. All right. I don't know. So let's just, we're going to use red. So what are we going to do? Let's start out. I just want to put some, I don't know, shapes. Let's do that. Why not? We're going to use red. And I decided to draw some squares. Alright, and I'm going to do little squares with this red. I love these pick tens because there's no, you have no idea what it's going to look like in the end. You just follow the prompts. And it's just so much fun because to me it's so freeing. Um, it allows me just to, to doodle and play. Uh, i got to find the right paintbrush. It's almost like, you know, I go through, uh, there's one that'll work. I go through stages with the paintbrushes of what I want. Um, you know, whichever, the ones I want to use, like a lot of times I'll go with the filberts or sometimes I'll get in the mode to use, um, just flat square ones or it's really weird, but anyways. So I hope everybody had a wonderful holiday and all that happy stuff. We're getting through January. Um, yeah, it's been really cold here as you guys have probably heard by now. Um, we have bought a house in the South. And I cannot wait to get down there. And it was so funny because after we <laughs> bought the house and come back, there was that big snowstorm down south. But the greatest thing about it, yeah, there was snow there. But within a couple hours, it was gone. Yeah. That doesn't happen upstate New York. Um, we end up with snow and it's here forever. It just seems like it never leaves. So I'm really, really excited. Um, like I said, I've been packing my art studio. Um, just packing a lot of stuff that, you know, I want to take with me, but I don't need right now. Like, you know, my card making stuff and my dies and you know, my punches and my canvases and that kind of stuff. Um, I am not going to have a, a custom built studio down there. At least not at this point, but that's okay. Um, I'm actually going to take one of the larger bedrooms, uh, which is good because really, you know, you don't spend that much time in your bedroom, so why do we need a big one to put a bed in? You know what I'm saying? So we're just going to, um, I'm going to take one of the larger bedrooms and make it into my studio. I'm really excited about it because it's got a lot of light. Um, you know, there's a huge, huge closet in there, which is going to be essential for storage. But you know, even while I'm doing the packing, I'm purging. And um, 
my son's girlfriend has uh, she's a teacher and she's always looking for stuff for her kids well let me tell you that girl is gonna have so much card stock and so much paper that she's not gonna need to buy any for a few years so all right so we used red what's next um, use collage all right, let me dry this up real quick, get something to collage, and I'll be right back. All right, I've got some collage here. Um, my chair keeps sliding. I have some just tissue paper with stars on it. I'm going to use a little bit of that. And then I have some of this Tim Holtz paper. Um, I actually tore stuff off it before I packed it. So I had a little piece to use for whatever. So I'm going to put that here. Put these away. Collage. All right, um, I got my matte medium here and a brush, and we're just gonna play. You know what? I'm not gonna put that on. I'm not gonna put that on my palette. I'm just gonna put it here on this napkin. It's here. That works. So, anyways, like I was saying, um, you know, I'm I'm sorting stuff. I'm getting rid uh, rid of a lot of stuff. Um, just, you know, things that I don't need. I actually, yesterday, I went through my, um, losing my words, my journal making stuff, you know, for junk journals. And I said to my husband, I'm like, yeah, I can find another cereal box. <laughs> you know, I can get another Pop-Tart box. That's not an issue. So, I mean, just, we've taken out bags of garbage. You know, yes, I'm considering it garbage now. Normally do I know I use it to recycle to, you know, do junk journals and stuff. But for now, I am not going to move all that stuff down there. You know, have him doing the lifting and lugging when, you know, it doesn't take much for me to get more. So, all right, I just want a little bit of this, I don't know, wordage on here. So, let's put a little bit of it down. This napkin's not a good idea. It's not thick enough. Let's try that. Come on. Stay there. Now we'll stay down. Yep. So let's just, what am I doing? I don't know. I'm just putting it wherever I want. All right. Okay, there's that. And let's do this one right here. Let's cover it right over that red spot. Why not? Okay. Alright, so there's our collage. What's next? Um, use a stencil. Use a stencil. All right, let me first of all find what stencil I'm going to use. I'm going to hold this down. And then I'm going to dry that and stick that in there. And I will be right back. Hold on. All right, so use a stencil. I got this stencil out. I just, oh, maybe I'll use this side. I was thinking those little dots, but I'm going to use this. Um, no, I'm going back to those little dots. Um, and I'm going to, because I have red on here, I'm just going to stick with the red. Why not? Let's see. I don't want Christmas red. How about cranberry wine? That works. Oh, my fingers don't like these bottles. Cranberry wine. All right, just put a little on my palette. Which ones are we going to use? Um... I don't know. Let's use this one. Hmm. Cool. Cool beans. Yep. Use a stencil. That's what we're doing. Alright. Now I'm just going to put a little bit right here. Maybe a little bit right here. And a little bit right here. Perfect. All right, next. Use string. What the heck am I going to do with string? Hmm. String. Use string. Let me think. 
Let me think. I know my one thing of string is packed away. Do I have any in here? I have some string, I guess. That's more ribbon. Um, there's some string. What are we going to do with it? Oh, let's see. Let me think. What are we going to do with the string? Trying to find the other end of the string. I hate these things. That's why mine always ends up um, in a big old knot. Because I can never find the end. Ever. Alright, so let's, I'm just going to do it from the inside because I can find that one. All right, what are we going to do with this string, guys? What are we going to do? We could do a border. Nah, that's boring. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put... We're going to frame our boxes. Let's frame our boxes in. How's that sound? There's one. Go frame our boxes. Don't know why, but we gotta use string, so um doo -doo. All right. there's one. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. Doo -doo. But anyways, yeah, I was saying that I've been, I have been purging like I'm a wild woman. Um, and I'm, I feel good about it because, yeah, do I have a lot of stuff? Yeah. Do I need all that stuff? Not really. It's nice to have it, don't get me wrong, but, um, I don't need to take all of it that long way. I've got a whole bunch of envelopes and stuff over there now, too, and I just gave, um, Emily... A great big huge packet of envelopes. I'm like, you know what? She can have her kids make something to take home to, you know, their their family or whatever. She can use them for whatever she wants. So things like that. I think it's it's gonna help her out a lot. Alright, so let's Well, there's some boxes so far. Interesting, huh? Right, yeah, so let's Where's that other end? I don't know. We're taking it from this end. Alright, here's another box. And guys, I just hope you know I did not plan this out at all. Even though I had the prompts, I didn't do anything with them or, you know, honestly I couldn't tell you what comes next. I'm just winging it. Yeah, I can look at it, but you know, that's not the whole point of this. The whole point of this is to be creative when you get the prompt, not plan the page ahead. Right? So there's another one. Little boxes. Oh, let's see. Do I need to bring you? Let's bring you out a little bit. All right. The last one is here. So, yeah, packing and purging and, and creating. I'm trying to get some videos done so that, you know, I don't have to get behind for you guys because that would really bother me. And I know I'm going to get comments, don't worry about us, we'll still be here. Da, 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 da. Well, I have a hard time with that because when I make a commitment, I stick with it. So, all right, so there we go. We used string. Um, what is next? Use white. Hmm. Use white. What am I going to do with white? Well, we can put dots in these, I guess. Make them look like little dice. Come on. Give me more white. There we go. 
Oops, I just stuck my finger in the other ones. Yeah, that happens. Do do. Use white. What's next? Um, here's another one. All right, so we used white. I don't want to do anything in them. I don't know why I'm not going to do anything in them. What's next? Um, add hearts. Add hearts. I think I have a stencil of hearts. Let me check. I'll be right back. All right, I did find a stencil that has hearts on it. So I'm going to use it backwards just because it's easier for me to hold it this way. Um, I'm going to use this same red, this uh, cranberry wine. And we're just going to put some hearts down here. Why not? Because it says to... Add hearts. That doesn't look much like a heart, does it? Hmm. Let's try a different one. Let's try this one. Maybe I didn't have enough paint. That's always possible. Sometimes I have to re-stencil things because I don't use enough paint. And then sometimes I use too much paint. You know how it goes. Alright, I just got some more. I didn't want it. So, it's all good. Just wipe it up. All good, all good. Alright, I don't like this one. Yeah, I'm not sure what's up with that top stencil, but... Alright, next. That one's there. Um, let's put one... Let's do this. It's complicated! <laughs> that sounds good to me, doesn't it, to you? What that really means, I don't know. My hubby and I do just fine. We were actually talking about it the other day when we were coming back from a trip that I had to make and uh, we were talking about how sometimes people just don't get us. They don't understand us yet. We understand each other really well. So, all right, these ribbons. Um, I'm just wiping this off because I'm afraid I'm going to end up getting it all over this page. And I really don't want it all over this page. Okay. Do, 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 do. All right, so we got a few hearts on here. We've got three, right? So that'll work. What's our next prompt? Uh, let me move these. There it is. Our next prompt is use teal. All right, what are we gonna do with teal? Um. Teal. What are we going to do with teal? This looks kind of cool. Let's, no, I don't want to do that. Teal. What are we going to do with teal, folks? Yeah, let's do that. Why not? This looks kind of cool. Let's take this fern. And uh, we're going to grab some teal. Um, is this a teal? Uh, peacock teal. That'll work. Ouch. I always do that to my hand and it hurts. <laughs> Crazy fool. Alright. Let's take some teal. And we're going to take um, this stencil. And we're going to throw a big old fern right here. And let's see what it looks like. Hmm. You never know. But hey, why not? I never know what these pages are going to turn out looking like. Sometimes I wonder if I really mess them up, but uh, it doesn't matter. It's fun. And you know, it's a great way to get um, creative. Hmm, that's kind of cool. Let's put one here. It's just a great way to, um, you know, just get your stuff out and play and you never know. You might come up with something, whether it be a color combination or 
um, I don't know, a doodle or just something that's like, ooh, I'm glad I did that. So that's why I enjoy doing these pick tens. That looks pretty good. All right, now we need a little one. We need a little one in this corner. Let's see, which side is this on this side? So let's take this little one right here. I have my little heater next to me on because I am just cold. Seems like it doesn't matter, you know, how much I crank my pellet stove. It's just I'm always cold. All right. All right. We use teal. Okay. What's next? Um, use a napkin. Hmm. All right. That I'm going to have to find, so I'll be right back. All right, guys. So... <laughs> move that back a little bit my feet is getting hot um all right so i found a napkin this is one of jane davenport's napkins and i love all these girls these are just really cool girls I'm trying to figure out which ones i want to put on here huh. no which one which one do 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 you know what, let's put this girl on here. So, use a napkin. Just going to... I don't know if I'm going to color her or what I'm going to do. I may end up just leaving her the way she is. She might look better that way. So here she is. Let's get some of this um, matte medium. And I'm going to put it down right here. And then hopefully yeah. I like her. I think she looks great right there. So let's take and dry her up. What's our next one? Um, we are at, use a napkin, number nine, doodle. All right. Doodle, huh? Okay, we'll doodle. I wanna get her dry first, though. So, I'm gonna use a Sharpie pen. Let's get her really dry. Come on. My hands are cold too. Alright, she's taking a minute. I'll be right back. Alright, so what do we say this one was? This one is doodle. And you know what? It doesn't say how. So, you know what I'm going to do? <laughs> I'm going to use my paintbrush and some of this teal paint and we're going to give her some teal hair. Just a little. Just so she knows that she belongs here. Right? So this is doodling. Some people say, no it's not, it's coloring. Okay, this is doodle coloring. How's that? <laughs> So we're just kind of kind of give her a little bit of hair here. All right, so there she is. Now I did want to doodle. Um, let's see. I'm gonna take this marker, and I'm wondering, do I want to do something in here in these little blocks? Um, yeah, I'm just gonna do little hearts. Why not? They look cute, right? It's all good. We're just going to make the little hearts and then we'll just decorate them up with little dots. 
and I like them. I guess this is supposed to be a heart page, huh? I never thought to use red and teal together, so that's quite interesting. Um, just interesting. Okay, and one more. Just something different. All right, um, I would like to take a smaller Sharpie and I just want to kind of, just so they don't look like they're just kind of stumbles on there, which is what they are. <laughs> And just kind of bring out some of these, you know, bring out her face a little bit more. All right. Um, just kind of play around with her crown here. So basically, I'm doodling, but I'm doodling over top of this napkin um, just to make it stand out a little bit more. You know, it doesn't hurt. All right. And then we're just going to bring her hair out a little bit more. You know, all right. Now, I also want to do just a tiny bit. Oops, um, little tiny bit of red on her lips. Uh, what I just use is um, an Arteza woodless watercolor and it, of course it's in red all right and then let's give her green eyes let's give her some green eyes same thing arteza waterless or yeah woodless watercolor there i like her She's cool, huh? All right, so let's see what our last one is. Um, oops, I almost stuck that in the paint. Um, number 10 is uh, add modeling paste. Okay. What am I going to do with modeling paste? Hmm. Give me a minute. I'll be right back. All right, so I got out a stencil that I'm going to use with my modeling paste. This is just a plastic, um, I don't know, they go underneath plants or whatever. Oh, I got some modeling paste here, maybe. Yes, and I'm just going to um, put a little bit of it here on my plate. I'm not going to do a whole lot because I always end up overdoing. So watch, this time I'll do under. Now, do I want to... You know what? I'd like to do this red. Let's get that red back out. This Christmas red. What's this one? Deep red. I want to keep this in the red theme. I don't know if it'd be too much. No. I'm going with my first. Sorry about that, guys. I'm going with my gut. This is black. This is just Deco Art um, Carbon Black paint. So I'm just going to um, color up my modeling paste here. So it's not, not white and not gray, but black. And I think I'm going to put another dot of black in there because it looks kind of gray right now. Another two dots. Two dots. There you go. That's better. All right, let's see. All right, that works. So we've got some modeling paste, and I just have some holes here. I thought, mm, let's let's throw some of this on. 
So here's this. All right, there's one. Yeah, I like it. Let's put another one up here. Okay. There's two. Let's see, we need another one. Let's put, I just want to put a couple here. This is one of the stencils I really like. I enjoy using this one. There's that one. Uh, a couple more. Let's do a couple right here. We're going to do three of them. Or a little bit more. Alright, hold on one second. All right, that works. I'll be right back. All right, and I have my last one. Sorry, I got interrupted for a second. That's okay. All right, let's do this last one right up here. Okay. So I have a little bit of leftover, but that's okay. Not a whole lot, which is a good thing. All right, now, the other thing I wanted to do, um, I'm going back one to my doodle. I just, I want these boxes here just to kind of stand out a little bit more. So we'll just do that. All right. Okay, that's it. There she is. There is our um, pick 10 for February. I hope you guys have enjoyed this. I cannot wait to see what you do. Definitely share them on my Artsy Endeavor Facebook page. Um, you know, it's I, I want to see your art. I'd love to see what I do, you know, what kind of inspiration I've given you. And see what your pages turn out like. And just remember, it's not really about the finished product. It's just about playing, having fun, and enjoying it, okay? So, um... Thank you guys so much for watching. Like, comment, share, and subscribe, and give me a thumbs up if you'd like. And also, have fun. That's what life's all about. Happy creating, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.